What are some of the mistakes that you see regularly? People are coming to you and you say, ah, if only, if only I could tell them. Well, I guess the most common mistake is coming to me too late. I have people who call me about two weeks before, they say we're not selling tickets, we're not listed anywhere, I don't know what to do. And I said, I say to them, well, if you had contacted me six weeks ago, I may have been able to help you, but contacting me now is really too late. There's very little I can do two weeks out. Uh, I've been contacted in the middle of a run, you know, with someone struggling. And you know, there's, there are great places to get people listed for free any day, like Stage Buddy or Off Off Online or um, you know, even Eventful and Going.com where you can list play your show for free at any time. But to really get some great coverage in advance, you really have to start at least six to eight weeks in advance of the show coming out. So that's one common mistake. Um, another common mistake, I think, is that people don't understand that hiring a publicist actually means that you now have more work. I think people often think, oh, I've hired my publicist, I can sit back, relax, enjoy, she'll take care of everything. And often, it requires more work. It takes some thinking to, um, and collaboration with your publicist to figure out you know, what might be a great feature idea. You, I have a form that's called the What Katie Needs form that people fill out to give me a lot of background information and then I also have a form for the actors that they fill out to give me where they grew up and you know what their affinity to the piece is maybe some press that's written about them and I you know so I really delve deep into them to try to find story ideas that I can then go pitch out in the world so that my sec that's probably the second most common mistake is to not realize how much work it is actually required to work with a publicist